I would like to thank uh, Ash and Lewis for informing me about this. Now, many of you should know who the individual on the left is in this picture. If you don't know, that is actor Jason Mitchell. And of course, you know, he became uh, world renowned for playing Easy e in Straight Outta Compton. He's also done other films as well. He was in the uh, more, I guess you can say the Me Too ringer, along with a few other prominent uh, black men. And when I found this out, I was like, whoa, like they literally snatched everything up from this guy. Like they didn't waste no time. And right now, these are just mere allegations. There's nothing that has been concrete. There's really no proof that he's actually done it. It's just mere allegations. But one thing that really did stand out to me when I was reading the article from heavy.com, you know, where they do the five facts and everything like that, was the first fact that they mentioned involving Tiffany Boone. Now, Tiffany Boone is engaged to another actor. His name is Mark, Robin Mark Robertson. And he plays on the show Dear White People. He was also in the movie Dear White People. And it was stating that whenever she had to do scenes with Jason Mitchell or certain scenes, she would request that he be at the set with her, watching from a distance, while he was doing while they were doing scenes together now if a person has to request that their fiance is there while doing scenes with another person it makes you wonder what is really going on are the allegations true or aren't they it's like it's a real gray area right there because if you really if you didn't feel safe with the person um or if you felt like what I, I should say if you felt safe with the person then you would not have to have your fiance there. So something, she must have told him something and said, you know what, I'll come to the set with you whenever you're doing scenes with him. And it was only with him. Now in the show, she doesn't just do scenes with him. She has now, her character has now pretty much expanded from the first season. So now she has more scenes outside of doing scenes with him. She's now doing scenes with other people and he's never on the set with her when she's doing scenes with other people, but just specifically with him so that makes when i saw that part right there it makes me wonder are the allegations that she's bringing upon him true it also it kind of reminds me back in the day when with when martin was on the air remember in the last uh season when you didn't see gina and martin in the same scene together like you'll have uh, martin in the scene and it'll insinuate that gina is there but she was in the other room or she was there but she was like maybe out of town or at work and, or in the same thing with um gina like she they would insinuate that martin was in another room or he was out with tommy and cole it was because there was allegations that uh, Gina pretty much filed that said that Martin Lawrence sexually harassed her and she threatened to have to leave the show and it was like literally towards the end of the show's run but they said no we'll keep you on but we just won't have y'all film scenes have you film scenes together and that's how it pretty much went a lot of people really didn't know what was going on at the time until probably well after the show was canceled and then it all pretty much clicked that that's what happened Unless they put it out there before, but you know, back then we didn't have the internet like that to really catch on to what was happening. But that's what this reminds me of right here. But they're taking Jason Mitchell off the show altogether, and Jason Mitchell is the lead of this show. Jason Mitchell is the lead actor of this show. Like when, like whenever the shy really comes on, he's like one of the first people that comes to mind. He's like the the like i think he's probably like the highest paid actor on the show because he is the lead not anymore because they said he has gotten dropped from the show and the show actually got renewed for a third season i don't think they filmed anything just yet because i think they just got renewed so that means that they won't have to worry about editing his part out or anything like that they just won't have him there and now they're going to have to explain why or how he got out of the show. And, you know, that's what that's a writer's nightmare. I always say that whenever a writer has to try to write around a person, whenever they get written out of a show or they get killed out of a show when it doesn't happen in the show, then they have to try to they have to work around it. That's the same thing they had to do with Jesse Smollett a couple months ago. That's why I said they went through a writer's nightmare to get the rest of that season five finished. Now their nightmare is pretty much done. They pretty much said he's not going to be in the show. The show about to get canceled anyway. 
Now, I don't know what this is going to do for the ratings of this show because he was the lead, but they're probably just going to end up bumping Jacob Lattimore's character up because he was like the second lead in the show. And then the little boy was like the third lead. The main, the leads of this show were all black men, by the, well, well, black uh, males in particular, because uh, the little boy, he's still like a minor. And I like, it was kind of like you had the black adult figure, then you had like, uh, even though Jacob Lattimore is like, he's in his 20s, but they pretty much have him almost like in a teenage type of form because he has the look. And then you had the little boy. So it was almost like that was the trinity right there as far as the, um, the cast was formation. Um, not for how they were formed. So the the uh, the shy was pretty much a show that centered on those three characters and their three separate lives, but how they all pretty much came together. But I don't know what to say much about Jason Mitchell. A part of me is like, damn, he got caught up in this whole uh, Me Too thing because we already know what that means. And as you can see, they dropped him from pretty much everything he he's working on now and was probably working on in the future. Like they pretty much now have blackballed him. I said for them to drop him from every last thing, this is serious. But we all know if he was a white actor, that wouldn't be the case. We know this. This we know. But on the flip side. A part of me doesn't feel too bad for him because I remember doing a video about Jason Mitchell, I think last year or the year before or something like that. And he had made some comments and it literally rubbed some people the wrong way. I don't know if I still have the video or not. Um, it may have been on my old channel. I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. Okay, I paused the video right quick to see if I could find the video. Apparently, that video must have been on one of probably my original channel that got terminated, so I can't find it. But those of you who are around long enough know exactly what I'm talking about, and I have to make a little correction. Her fiance's name is not Mark Robertson, it's Mark Richardson. But yeah, I don't know what to say as far as this whole situation goes involving Jason Mitchell, but for them to remove him from all of that stuff, that's intense. But like I said, if he was a white actor, they would have said, you know what, lay low for a little bit. We might take a little bit from you here and there, but we'll try to squeeze you back in. Let's just put it this way. Jason Mitchell ain't going to get the James Gunn treatment. They ain't going to let him allow him to quote unquote get fired. And I say quote unquote because I don't think Disney actually fired him. They just kind of hit him for a while, let the dust settle, and then they brought him back in. They ain't about to do that with him. So I don't, especially since Jason Mitchell is really only mainly widely known in the black community. He hasn't really had that true crossover success that he probably should have gotten after straight out of Compton, but doesn't really, um, um, doesn't really have under his belt. But now that this has come up in the way that they just snatched everything, like, I mean, they snatched it all. The only thing they probably didn't take away was the lint out of his pocket. It's going to be it's going to be hard for him to like bounce back from that from just this one situation. See, black men, this is the thing we have. to. We literally live in a society where we have to walk on goddamn eggshells when it comes to stuff like this. So I don't know. That's really all I have as far as this is pertaining um, I'm sure there's probably going to be more stuff to come out. I'm surprised this isn't even trending and cause it's not, I like, but it is on, if you go on the internet and type his name in, there'll be a bunch of articles that'll pop up, but make sure you, the one that I really wanted to point out was the one involving her, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments, like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one.